Hi guys, it's Kirby. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're just doing some makeup. Um, I haven't done like a true just like makeup makeup video in quite some time because I got out of makeup for a moment because pity party. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> you know, whatever. So now we're just today going to do some makeup because I've been getting a lot of like new things and I've been trying them and I just feel like talking about them okay so we're gonna do some makeup um I have already cleansed my skin and like done my skin prep and then I did put a little bit of like foundation and eyebrows on because that's like the boring part and it takes a while but uh, I got the new elf Sun Touchables All Set for Sun Spray Setting Spray Sunscreen 45 Broad Spectrum SPF uh, Sun Protection and Setting Spray. This is new. It retails for like $14. It's two fluid ounces. I purchased this, my own money, um, because they're launching it now on their website for loyalty, like elf loyalty members if you sign up it's just their like reward system and you can get this um it's okay it's not my favorite i put it on before i put my set it my like foundation products on and it's it's like a little oily it's not like greasy but it's a little like you know moisturizing if you will and it does have like alcohol in it so it does have a little bit of a um a bite to it <laughs> if you have like open skin especially but it did not burn my eyes or sting my eyes but the jury's still out on if I like will really really like it but I didn't think it was too bad of a price compared to the Ulta one this one I prefer this one over the Ulta one that Ulta one has menthol in it and it's terrible but anyways the foundation that I'm using is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in Light and Vanilla. One pump of each. Covers my whole face. Really like it. Highly recommend. And I have brow products on. A brow pencil and some NYX the brow glue in dark brown. Uh, my brows are always having a moment of their own. So there is that. <laughs> That's that. Uh, so let's get into some eyeshadow. Uh, we're going to be using the Lottie London Color Cloud Long Wear Matte Liquid Eyeshadows. Full disclosure, they sent me this one, which is Love & Coco in a PR package. I then purchased the other five at Walmart because this one's like a brown and I'm not like the biggest fan of brown. So I went and purchased the other pastel colors at Walmart. Um, and you know what? Today I think we're going to do like monochromatic blue. I've got a blue striped shirt, blue hair. We're just going to do some blue eyeshadow. This is the shade Sky Blue. Haven't even opened it yet. We'll see how it acts on my eyelids today because my eyelids are kind of oily from especially this sunscreen spray. So we'll see we'll see how it works. I love the formulas of these, which is why I per end up purchasing the other five colors. Um, the formulas of these having like a hooded lid situation, it doesn't move. It doesn't like transfer. It doesn't crease or anything like that. So I just really, really like them, which is why I purchased them. We're going to go in. I haven't prepped or primed my eye with anything like I said there is like a little bit of that sunscreen spray on there so we're just gonna see that is like a very pretty pastel blue like when they say sky blue they meant sky blue the brush that I'm using again just ordered it from elf it's the wide taper eyeshadow brush and they're like very economy line it was like two dollars and it's just this like very wide shaper shaper this very wide uh shader brush but it has like a little bit of a taper to it what's nice about these is that you do have like quite a bit of time to work with them before they like fully dry down so they are quite easy to blend 
and get kind of like an even coat on your eyelid. And you can either put them directly on your eyelid or just like on your brush and tap them in. That is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that blue because in my monitor it just kind of looks like a little bit of a white. That is like sky blue. All right, I love that. All right, I want to put some eyeshadow on top of it to really make this like a blue look. So I'm going to go into my BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Bubblegum Palette, which is a blue palette. I'm so upset about BH Cosmetics and their... They're back. And they, I think, were purchased by Makeup Revolution. And now they're back putting products back out, but like... Nothing is ever going to top these Sweet Shop palettes. Nothing. I loved BH Cosmetics eyeshadow formula and like blush formula, their powder formulas in general. And I wonder if it's the same or if they changed it a little bit since like going bankrupt. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to take a little bit of this like medium blue bubbles and kind of just like put it on the outside corner just to like deepen things up and I'm just using the same brush I just wiped it off a little bit I've only ever put shimmers on top of these uh, liquid eyeshadows so I don't know how well like matte eyeshadows will go over top of them we're about to find out not too bad it's not the easiest to blend over top of but I've definitely done worse. Okay. Then we're going to take pop and we're going to put that on the lid just with our finger. That pop shimmer gets me every single time, every single time. And then we're just going to take a little chili, which is this light blue. And we're going to kind of like blend a little bit more on top with a wet and wild crease brush right, we're gonna do the other thing on the same we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we'll be back for some complexion and lashes and whatnot cleaned up the outside corners put some liner on we'll do mascara a little bit later because we still have to like do our powders and all that jazz but here's another new product to me purchased not sent purchased at walmart uh this is the lottie london bright bounce in light they have like a light and a dark or a light and a deep um and this is supposed to be kind of like a color corrector i think so under eye brightening corrector uh, that is the box. Oh my gosh. Ugh. This is the packaging. Um, and it's kind of like a peachy pink, like a peachy pink corrector, which I kind of like that it's peachy pink and not just peach and not just pink. Um, so we'll see how this works. I don't know if there's any like specific directions. How to use for brighter looking under eyes, apply a thin layer and lightly tap product onto the under eye area using a sponge or finger. Watch those dark circles disappear. Then apply your concealer on top. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to use a brush and then maybe blend it out with a sponge. I don't know. Oh, it's very creamy. Very creamy. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. I feel like my dark circles, sir, circles, my dark circles, my dark circles are still very noticeable. So we are going to put some concealer on top of it, but it is very like hydrating. I don't know. I was thrown off by the consistency. I didn't realize that it was going to be like that creamy. I thought it was going to be kind of like a drier formula for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. I just haven't done a lot of research in this. I just kind of was like, oh, dark circle corrector, $7.98, add to cart. Um, 
that's about how I do my shopping uh, for makeup, if you wanted to know. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start with the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. I don't know why I said it that way. And I don't know what brush we're gonna use because all my brushes are dirty. So as I'm continuing to do my makeup, I don't like how this sits underneath my makeup. I don't think that it's very good for priming the skin. Um, my skin feels very slick in a way that I'm not accustomed to. I have a forehead of bronzer. That's terrible. So if anybody is wondering if that's like good for priming your skin before makeup, unless you have extremely dry skin, I'm gonna say no. Um, I think what's interesting is that it says quick dry makeup setting spray and whereas yes, it technically dried quickly, like the oils or like whatever they're using for the SPF or the SPF itself is very greasy on the skin. It's not very like matte. Like why can't we have a makeup sunscreen setting spray that's like matte? We're going to use some blush and we're going to use the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Turks and Caicos. Do you ever like forget how much you like certain products? Because you just like start using other things and then you're like, oh yes, I remember I like this. Also this blush and this, <laughs> uh, I should have went with a more muted blush because this blush and blue eye might have been a little much. Uh, we will try and tone that down with our concealer, but you know what? I kind of don't hate it, because if you're going to go big, just go big, you know? Just do it all, all the time. Alright, now for concealer, what do I want to use? I don't know. I think we're going to try and use this one today. This Lancome Tint Adel Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I'm using the shade 250025. I don't know. There's two numbers. Oh, it's Bisque Warm. B I S parentheses W parentheses. And maybe I shouldn't have used this concealer because I also have conflicting feelings about this concealer. Um, this is a concealer that like very much matches my skin tone and I very much like a brighter under eye. See that just doesn't like, that doesn't look right. <laughs> okay so in my monitor it looks okay. In person that doesn't look okay. But I know if I try to go with something lighter, this blue is going to make it look not okay. Okay, so we're going to use the Concealer Serum in Vanilla. No, yes, no. In Light. And we're going to try and like buff a little bit of this underneath my eyes as well. Maybe. This could be a mistake. Okay, we're gonna put, we're gonna set it. That usually helps, setting it. Okay. So, first we're going to set it with a brush with some powder foundation for the extra coverage. And this we're just going to lightly tap underneath. And then we're going to take a dry sponge, rub it in the powder, and we're gonna kind of like bake but like very concentrated baking, like 
just where my dark circles are because I don't really want to bake all over my face I just want to bake where like I have the most issue so we're gonna let that sit and we're going to uh, powder the rest of our face with other products we're gonna use the Ciate London bamboo bronzer in Palm Island on this wet and wild I don't know it's a face powder brush it came in a set I think then for blush I don't know what we're gonna do for blush I want to take it kind of easy on the blush because we've toned it down a little bit but I'm going to use the elf um, bite size blush duos in guava with a Morphe what is this PK4 it's just a tapered brush like a fluffy tapered brush and I think what I want to do for that is take another uh, powder foundation this one's lighter than the or no this one's darker than the one that I used before this one is vanilla the other one that I used was porcelain and we're just going to lightly zhuzh that around my face. And by zhuzh that around my face, I mean kind of like set the areas that still look shiny. This is also like a big e.l.f. powder brush. We're even going to zhuzh this underneath our eyes for that baking powder. Like we want everything to be set, but we don't want everything to necessarily be like matte. Does that make sense? Okay, what else do we need? Highlighter maybe? So I just got these Cody Airspun highlighters from the Dollar Tree. And I really, I used this one, the Pink Me Up, in our Mother's Day video, but I think I want to use this Snow Much Ice with this blue. I also have it in Glow for Gold, but I think I want the Snow Much Ice because I think with this blue it's going to be, it's going to be intense. Alright, I don't think I'm prepared for this. I don't have any small fan brushes so we're gonna or small highlighting brushes so we're just gonna use this oh my goodness yes. I just put that all over my face and I don't even care okay yes that's way too much highlight and I am here for it Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think we're going to leave the bottom lash line bare and that could be a problem or it could not be I don't know we'll see um, and I think I want to go with these lashes so we're gonna do setting spray and then we're going to do lashes and I'm gonna use the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray um I still don't know how I feel about this one I love the application of this in this like aerosol can which is probably terrible for the environment and I definitely understand that so I love the application and how it like doesn't make me look like I just was drenched in water um, but as far as like actual setting sprays go like I don't know if it does the job that I want it to do if that makes sense So, the jury's still kind of out on that. But we're going to use the Lottie London Super Fake False Lash Effect Mascara. They did send this to me in PR. I've been using it since the end of March. And I did make a small reel about this, or short, or whatever they're called. I do really, really like it. It's a very dry formula mascara, and for some reason, I just really like how that feels and looks and it lasts a good amount of the day 
I have a really hard time with like very wet mascaras because then they just get everywhere and they're a mess and then I don't want to use them and the only way to like dry out a wet mascara is to use it and like keep the tubes open and stuff so yeah the Lottie London super fake false lash effect mascara is a really good one it's super affordable as well um, and I'm not just saying that because they sent it to me. I'm saying that because it is a good mascara. I have been using it for a couple months now. It's a good mascara. Hey, right, we're going to quickly put these uh, false lashes on off camera. They are the Ioni Wispy Flare Spiky Lashes. Ioni, you get them at the Dollar Tree. They're amazing. They're my favorite. $1.25 best lashes in the world. We're going to do that quickly again off camera. Nine years later and my inner corners are still popping up. We're moving on to the lips and I'm going to be using the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liners in Sandstorm and the BH Cosmetics Doja Cat Muse Collab Plumping Lip Gloss in Nude. We're going to see how this looks. I kind of forgot I had this gloss and I love these shockwave liners. I use them all the time. They have them for eyes and lips. So you should go check them out. It's very pretty. It has a nice shine to it. It's like, I don't know. It's very pretty though. Um, okay. So here's the look. What do we think? What do we think? I really like it. I think it matches my shirt perfectly. I think these lashes really add like whoosh to it. I think ultimately underneath my eyes did work out the way I wanted. They are looking a little um, powdery though. So we're just going to have to take a little brushy brush. Kind of, you know. Take some of those creases out. This was a clean brush. I'm just rubbing it underneath my eyes because, you know, I'm 32 and I have creasing under my eyes, such as life. Uh, so yeah, what do we think? Do we love the little 90s butterfly clips with them? Takes me right back to middle school. I really like it. I this is like I haven't done my makeup in a really long time and I'm feeling like I'm feeling this look. Feeling the monochromatic. I really like it. I hope you guys did too. I will link the products that I use down in the description box below. So if anything tickled your fancy or if you want to check anything out on your own time, you can do that going to be down in the description box. If you liked this video, found it helpful, enjoyed my company to do my makeup, um, let me know down in the comments section. Let's start a conversation. Be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. As always, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I would hate for you to miss out on any more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys.